न्यूक्लियर फोर्स को लेकर आ रही है बिग ब्रेकिंग न्यूज किस तरह से अब ये पूरा जो युद्ध है वो न्यूक्लियर वेपन के हवाले करने की तैयारी की जा रही है बड़ी खबर इस वक्त आ रही है न्यूक्लियर वेपन का इस्तेमाल किस तरह से बहुत जल्द इस युद्ध में देखने को मिल सकता है क्योंकि अमेरिका को जल्द बड़ी न्यूक्लियर चुनौती देने वाले हैं पुतिन इसकी वजह क्या है पुतिन ने न्यूक्लियर फोर्स की पावर और ज्यादा बढ़ाने का आदेश दे दिया है और पश्चिमी देशों के रवैये से वो पहले से ही नाराज चल रहे थे और जिस तरह से जो बाइडन का संदेश सामने आया उसके बाद ये गुस्सा अपने चरम पर है न्यूक्लियर फोर्स को अलर्ट मोड में रहने का ऑर्डर पुतिन की तरफ से दे दिया गया है बिल्कुल तो देखिए इसी से जुड़ी कुछ जानकारी आपको मैं दे दूं जल्दी से देखिए यहाँ पर जो पुतिन का घातक एकेडमी प्लान है उससे जुड़े कुछ आपको ग्राफिक्स दिखाते हैं आपको समझ में आएगा पुतिन का यह प्लान कितना घातक है और पुतिन क्या प्लान कर रहे हैं हम आपको दिखाते हैं यहाँ पर पुतिन की क्या तैयारी है क्योंकि ये जो ग्राफिक्स है वो आपको बताएंगे कि किस तरह से पुतिन यहाँ पर क्या प्लान कर रहे हैं रूस ने के जल्दी से पीसीआर वो दिखाइए ग्राफिक्स फिर अपने एक और खास मेहमान फिलिप क्राउजर एपीटीएन नेटवर्क से हमें यूक्रेन से ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं सीधे उनके पास जाएंगे लेकिन पहले ये देखिए रूस ने के एच वन जीरो वन मिसाइल को अपग्रेड किया है के एच वन जीरो वन की तर्ज पर ही के एच वन जीरो टू वेरियंट भी बनाया है ग्राफिक्स लेकर आते हैं पीसीआर जल्दी से के एच वन जीरो वन क्रूज मिसाइल की रेंज तीन हजार किलोमीटर है और चलिए ये हम बात करते रहेंगे ये ग्राफिक्स आपको दिखाते रहेंगे लेकिन फिलिप क्राउडर एपीटीएन नेटवर्क से यूक्रेन से हमें ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं फिलिप वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू टीवी नाइन Flip, one year of this war is almost completed. So I just want to know, know what is your analysis of this war and what have you seen so far? Yeah, well, things have come a long way, haven't they? Since uh, one year ago, when most experts and indeed most heads of government and heads of state, including the uh, the administration in Washington, believed that this was a government that could fall within just a few days. Now it is uh, standing strong, and indeed it believes and. Started believing at the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine that it could actually win this war against the much mightier, on paper at least, neighbour in Moscow. And uh, now this has become a very uh, stoic population, a very optimistic one as well. Sometimes that it can win uh, this war, but it has had to uh, get used to a new reality, of course, as well, of uh, constant air raid sirens and of brutal battles. On a very, very large front line uh, between Ukraine and Russian, uh, and Russian and Russia. What Russian have you seen so far? What the uh, Washington, be Ukraine, what Washington believes is it, is it happening? Other parts as well. Philip, are you getting our voice? My question is uh, to you: Where did Ukraine stand a year ago before, and the war started? Where it is standing now? and is ukraine standing more strongly against russia or it is getting weaker by passing day no ukraine would believe right now that it uh, has the support of a very strong coalition a us and western backed coalition of nato member countries but others as well that more than anything is uh, bringing ukraine the military aid that it needs right now and the changes uh, every week on the battlefield and that has given ukraine what it needed on the battlefield at least to push back uh, some of the russian advances uh, from the start of its invasion of ukraine uh, there have been uh, many military victories on the battlefield for ukraine many military defeats for russia as well something that you might not have been able to envisage Uh, a year ago, uh, so Ukraine right now believes that it has a lot of strong support, and that, of course, was uh, symbolized in part by uh, President Biden's visit here to Kiev mm. a few days ago, and also from his speech in Warsaw as well. This is a country that believes it has a lot of support, though not from the entire world, of course. One example being, of course, that uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin met with okay. uh, China's top diplomat uh, in Moscow only yesterday. या वैंगी यू आर मैंशनिंग वैंगी सो मैं आप अपने दर्शकों के लिए बता दूं ये फिलिप क्राउदर हैं एपीटीएन नेटवर्क के सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट जो इस वक्त यूक्रेन में हैं और वो ये कह रहे हैं कि यूक्रेन को लगता है कि नेटो की मदद से उनकी जीत होगी वो कह रहे हैं कि सबसे बड़ी जो मदद इस वक्त यूक्रेन की है वो मिलिट्री एड है जो यूक्रेन को दी जा रही है अमेरिका की तरफ से नेटो की तरफ से और बाइडन का की वाना यह बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट विजिट थी और यह बड़ी उनको उनके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट चीज थी जिससे यूक्रेन का मनोबल बढ़ा हुआ है बट फिलिप आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो दैट let's talk about the new world order which is reshaping uh, between this war during this war what do you think is the war will decide new world order like 
a group with America and another group with Russia in this chi China is there also. Be it West or East, is the new world order is shaping. Well, it feels a little bit uh, like that at times uh, with the coalitions and the diplomatic friendships that are, are building right now with more than anything that what we're seeing as first signs, at least according to the uh, U.S. intelligence services of China being interested at least in possibly helping to arm Russia, that would uh, really complicate uh, this conflict quite uh, considerably. Uh, but essentially what we're seeing here uh, in this war between Ukraine and Russia is maybe the war that we believed uh, we'd been able to not have during the Cold War, uh, a, a confrontation uh, between a Western backcountry in Ukraine and the mighty uh, Russian neighbor on the other side. Uh, that is why it was such a shock when this uh, first began. Of course, there were many people who didn't believe uh, that Russia was going to uh, go for a full-scale uh, attempt to invade Ukraine. Uh, it was a shock to many people here uh, and to most experts around the world, exactly, uh, almost exactly, uh, uh, one year ago now and now it is almost a, a new reality that people have uh, had to become have to become used to not here in Ukraine but uh, all around the world तो <laughs> Our question is to you that where did you report from the uh, war ground from the Ukraine? Because uh, right now you are in Kyiv, and what was your uh, viewpoint about this this particular war? Because it's a war that these students are watching in their era. Yeah, well, those those of us who are in cities like Kyiv, the capital city that feels pretty safe at least right now or in the west of the country are particularly grateful of course uh, to our colleagues who do uh, make the trips uh, to the front lines repeatedly uh, in the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine where there is brutal fighting right now more than anywhere around the city of Bakhmut that has been going on for months now and the only reason we know about this of course and we see those images is because of the bravery uh, of our colleagues who go there again and again and th this is a very long front line uh, in the southeast uh, as well and of course in the past year around the city of Kharkiv and of course this city the capital city was also a front line with Russian forces becoming coming awfully close uh, to the center uh, of this city itself of the capital city Kiev uh, so this is reporting that is absolutely invaluable to those of us uh, who are lucky enough in a way to be in places that are deemed relatively safe right now the reality of a capital of this capital city right now is that there are air raid sirens here almost on a daily basis there is the risk of missile attacks but there have not been any significant ones over the last few days there is a little bit of trepidation here though of course with the anniversary of Russia's large scale invasion coming tomorrow uh, in uh, in just under a day that there could be something coming from Russia, coming from Russian President Vladimir Putin to mark this anniversary, maybe a large scale missile assault. But we do know uh, okay. that Kiev, for example, has uh, very strong air defenses right now that most people here would tell you that they believe are keeping them safe. ओके फिलिप स्टे विद अस तो फिलिप ये कह रहे हैं कि यहाँ चाहे बाखमुद की बात कर लें खारकीव की बात कर लें या कैपिटल सिटी कीव की बात कर लें ये अपने आप में एक फ्रंट लाइन था जब रूस रूस ने बड़े हमले किए यहाँ पर और जिस तरह का वो अनुभव है वो शेयर कर रहे थे हमारे साथ